Many of the patrons of the Rudder 7.0 event consisted of fans who have been following his career for years, like Janine. We have been a fan of David Rudder from ever since 1986, so many years. His music will live on, so I had to come to this show tonight. I mean, I would have done anything to come to this show, it being his final show. Another fan, Lizelle, shared similar sentiments and would not have missed a large-scale performance by David Rudder. Normally we don't get a final curtain call on a lot of our artists, so to be here tonight is extraordinary. Uh, I've been a fan since a child, I've been growing up hearing David Rudder being played in my house, favorite song, but here girl, and it's just an honor to be here. Happy birthday, David. Best of luck to you. One of the directors at Soundforge, Tinwa Allen, said the board was more than happy to host David Rudder's 70th birthday and final marathon performance. This is the reason that we started uh, Soundforge. This is the reason that we're here. It's in, the, in order for us to be able to support the continued development of culture. There were several guest appearances on stage with Rudder, like Carl Jacobs, his son Young Rudd, Voice, and Marshall Montano. Where we come from, I tell you, is music. Where we come from, I tell you, is music. From the looks of it, those at the event surely had a good time as everyone got out of their seats. <laughs> David Rudder announced in April that he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, which has already affected his movements and speech. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TDT News. Because under the crescent moon and above the bloody asphalt, strange dogs were barking deep in the night.